Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to another World to Level 9 video. This is going to be on the new update that's just come out. Um, there's been a couple of things added to the game. There's a new shield, a uh, new EMP grenade basically. I think it's called the EMI, but it's it's basically an EMP grenade. And uh, a new artifact. I have no idea where the artifact is. If I ever find it, I'll make a video on it. Um, but anyway, yeah. So here's the new... Alright, here's the new shield. Uh, you can throw this. This is, this is the best part about this. I think this is awesome. So... You can actually throw these, which is fucking brilliant. Just come out of a safe zone. So, yeah, say, you know, someone's a... I don't know, you're trying to get out of the cave or something. This is the cave entrance. You know there's some snipers up there or something. Throw that like that. Boom. Now you can leave the cave. Perfectly fine. All right, so you can't shoot through these, but they can't shoot through them. But you can walk through them. But you can't walk that way through it? What the hell? Okay. Apparently, they don't stop. <laughs> They're supposed to not stop you from going through them. Let me read the update. Energy shields are now a new tactical tool that can be useful in the fight. Shields block damage from both sides, inside and outside, but it, but it is possible to move through it. The device, yeah. So I went through it once. So apparently, I right, you can only go through it once. All right, I I thought you could go through it multiple times. So that was kind of a bit of a shock to me. So there you go. You can only move through it once, guys. Remember that. I have shot at one of these already. It tanked around. Oh, I, I was so surprised with it. I think it was like two, around 300 bullets, and then it broke. But I weren't even shooting it when it broke. I actually ran into it. So I don't know if it just ran out of time or uh, anything like that. So let's have a look at the new grenade. So this is the EMI grenade. It's basically an EMP grenade. It's made like it blows up all the uh, electronic devices like jammers, respawn tools. So I'm going to test it on this shield. This should one bot this, I'm guessing. No, it doesn't affect the shield. There you go. So the grenade doesn't affect the shield. I know it can tank a crap ton of bullets. Like, I mean, a crap ton. So yeah, this is going to be a really helpful tool there. Getting out the caves and attacking the bases. There we go. That didn't break from me shooting it. That was a, that was a, that was a timer. I guarantee that was a timer because I only used 90 bullets and I shot like 300 at one earlier. But that was the second I spawned it and non-stop shot it. So yeah, I'm reckoning they can take around. I, I, actually, I have no idea. I'm going to say three to 400 rounds like AK wise. So obviously if you've got the higher tier guns, they're not going to tank as much. But um, yeah, that's the shields, that's the new EMP grenades. Really cool stuff. I wish it weren't in the canyon shop, honestly, because it, it's like you've got to have a canyon thing to use any end game items. Like if we look here, I have um, an MSR-10. I'm only level 33, but even when I hit level 35, I can't use it because my faction doesn't own a canyon base. Uh, and you can only buy the ammunition from there. Same with the high tier armor. You need a canyon base. Now the new shield. You need a canyon base. <laughs> so if you've got like for for now, like I know the faction that I'm in used to dominate the server, but for now we are we cannot take a base to save our life. I'll happily admit that. Like we are so unorganized, it's unreal. So our enemies are just getting stronger and stronger because now they've got force fields, they've got new AMP grenades, they've got better armor, they've got better guns because they've got they can buy the ammunition for it, and it's making it harder and harder for a faction that doesn't have this, you know, um, doesn't have these items. It's making it harder and harder for them to actually get these items. You know what I mean? It's making it near impossible. Like obviously if we if, like when my team gets coordinated and we get a couple of players back from when the new map comes out then maybe we'll be able to tech one but until then i until we get some new players back i don't see us being able to tech one so that really sucks but luckily i have some friends i have quite to be fair i have quite a few friends on the other faction the other faction doesn't realize it but yeah <laughs> i do have quite a few friends there and they've been collecting items for me so when i do get level 35 i can get ammunition for it but yeah that's an update guys i hope you liked it uh, i wish there was more there's not really much more i can say on this update if you have a look uh, energy shields yep the emi grenades yeah we know what they do uh, a new in-game achievement system starting from the version we oh i didn't even read this part begun implementing of the new in uh, independent from steam achievement system in-game achievements will be developed as a separate uh, separated and more significant direction for players 
We expect that the new system of achievements will further encourage the players in every way which will cause additional interest. At the moment we have duplicated some of the achievements from Steam. Oh, I have actually seen, I've noticed actually. I, I didn't read this part, but I have noticed that I have been getting some achievements. So apparently it's in the PDA, so let's have a quick look at that, where's that? Let me keep reading. A list of achievements is available in the PDA. Please note that the achievements are issued to your account, not to the character since the in-game achievements are so where would that be then? I hate that. It's not there, obviously. It's not gonna be got quest log, maybe? No, I thought there might have been achievement selection there. Map, mail, group, clan, faction. Oh, achievements, it's right there. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I do like that. Six hidden achievements remaining. DS was for, yeah, for each achievement will be revealed once unlocked. So do you get anything for doing this? Or is it, this is just an achievement? I think it's just an achievement, isn't it? First death, join Black Sunset. Right. Yeah. See, this would have been cool if uh, you got, like, something for doing it. Like, say, a thousand tokens for doing this. A thousand for doing this. You know, you get to the higher end. Like, collect a thousand mushrooms. Maybe get, I don't know. 20,000 for doing this, because that's quite a lot. You know, get 10,000 for this. Uh, 5,000 for this. 1,000 for this. You know what I mean? Something like that. I think that would have been a really cool thing to put into the game. But um, maybe a missed opportunity. Maybe something that we'll see in the future. You never know. Uh, anything else? Other changes? NPC, I like to see it in the tunnels, has a new story that will be that will gladly tell you to believe in it or not. It's up to you. All right, I'm going to go check that out straight after this video. Added new artifact, a drunk snake. Like I did mention that, when I find it, I will let you guys know where it is. I have found a couple of other little spots that I'm going to do some videos on real soon. Um, how and where to find it, you'll have to, you know, find that out for yourself. Yep, yep, yep. Fix the problem with, alright. The cost of changing faction is being reduced from 1 million to 500,000. That's quite reasonable. Not for me. <laughs> like, if you, again, if you own a canyon base and you can fight the sun spiders, 500,000 is nothing. You can make that in a day very, very easily. Very easily. But if you are if you are not farming sun spiders and owning a canyon base, this is actually a, a very high amount and it, it's actually going to take you a long time to farm that. I wish they would. Have, like, I know obviously... <laughs> I know we obviously have the uh, the new map coming, so hopefully we're going to see some new stuff from that. Because uh, yeah, unless you have a canyon base, you need to be fair. You need a canyon base for anything in this game. If you want to farm money, you need a canyon base. If you want to farm efficient XP, you need a canyon base. If you want the top tier guns, canyon base. Top tier armor, canyon base. You know the new tools that are coming into the game, canyon base. It's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, this should. Like, what have I been doing? They need to add more drops to the regular mobs because doing anything but sun spiders is just a complete waste of time at the minute. Uh, new emoji has been added, fixed various minor bugs and errors. But yeah, there you go, there's an update, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. And uh, make sure to give this video a like. If you liked it, make sure to drop a comment below if you have any suggestions or you just want to be mean or something like that. You know, why not? Chuck some hate my way. Most of the community does in this game. Um, also, make sure to subscribe for future videos, guides, quests, PvP, and, you know, how to make money, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, yeah, catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out, and we'll see you next time.